heading into the 2020-21 season here at Inside Carolina. We're breaking down all the top storylines we're looking at for UNC basketball. I'm your host, Ross Martin, joined by Greg Barnes and Sherell McMillan. Guys, kind of big picture here. I mean, how good can this UNC team be? What is the potential and what is the ceiling? We'll start with uh, start with uh, Sherell to kind of break down his expectations for uh, the 2020-21 Tar Heels. Uh, I think they're definitely a tournament team. I think they're going to be much improved from last season. And after that, it just depends on which questions you're answering that we have going into the preseason. So if there's a situation where Caleb Love and RJ Davis are dynamic lead guards and they play really well, then there's no reason to think that this team, you know, at minimum can't get to the Sweet 16 and possibly to the Final Four. If Caleb Love and RJ Davis have injuries or they're not quite at the level we thought, then, you know, your hope is that the team can maybe squeak into uh, the second weekend. So that, that's kind of where I'm at. I see them anywhere between, you know, that that Saturday game of the first weekend in the NCAA tournament all the way to the Final Four. I know that seems like a, a cop-out, yeah. but I think that's, you know, the margin for error there is just how well uh, the two guys play in the backcourt, the two freshmen. Yeah, I mean, there's some known commodities, but there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, Greg, when you look at a team with, with so many question marks in certain areas, but with a lot of talent that we just haven't seen yet, and number 16 in the AP ranking, how do you see this team in terms of expectations, potential, and ceiling? Well, I look at this team's makeup, and I think this is has the potential to be a classic Roy Williams team. And if we know anything about what a Roy Williams team is, uh, that means they're going to be pretty good. And I, th- I think when you've got what could be the best front court in the country, at least in terms of depth and, and talent, that's a great place to start. Um, Shrell is exactly right. You know, Caleb Love and R.J. Davis have to play up to potential. But I don't think they have to be uh, phenoms, right? I mean, I don't think they have to play like top 10 draft picks. They have to be good. Um, but when you can lean on the post, and, and what the post does is not only does it give you offensive scoring, it helps you on defense, it helps you rebounding. Uh, as everybody knows, with Roy Williams, if you rebound the ball, dominate the glass, that, that sets up the transition game for you. Uh, you know, I don't have any question about Caleb Love and R.J. Davis in transition. It's the half-court sets where I think they may struggle a little bit. So this team can be effective in the post on both ends of the court and get out in transition and run some. They're going to beat a lot of teams. And then if, if Caleb Love and R.J. Davis you know, surpass that threshold, that plateau of just kind of being, being good but not great, uh, then we're talking about a team that really can push for a Final Four. But uh, Sherelle's right. It's, how the backcourt performs is going to tell us what we need to know. I just don't want people thinking they have to be great because I don't think they have to be. Yeah, when you get a lot of scoring from, you would think, from uh, Daron Sharp and, and Garrison Brooks and Baycott, I mean, that's, that could be 30, 40 points right there, maybe a little more, and then um, a little bit here and there from, from, from R.J. Davis and Caleb Love. And who knows? It could be a, end up being a, a better shooting team than we think. And I think the balance of this team with an inside and outside presence is when UNC really thrives. And there's a lot of different players. You know, if, if a couple of guys aren't hot one night, there, it seems like there's a couple of guys that can definitely step in at time. And that's why I think this team, you know, has a chance to be good. And we'll definitely find out more when the season starts. Um, number 16 heads into the season, starting November 25th with this UNC team. Um, some, some tests early, the Mount Invitational, and definitely at Iowa in early December. 